Hello everybody, this is the Big Axe of Diamonds, and welcome back to Ticket Survival. Now, where we last left off, as I was exiting, exiting out of the game last time, I heard a creeper come down from a hill somewhere around here, so I better go out and kill it before it blows up this part of my house. Oh, there's the creeper. It was walking on the fence, and so it made that sound. It's weird. It sounds like you're just walking on regular wood planks. Do I have any arrows? Nope, I don't. Guess I'm just gonna have to kill it by hand. Oh, it's in the sugar cane, all stealthy. Ooh, I don't know what to do about this like a stealth creeper hiding in the sugar cane. Oh good, it's dead. I was worried it would blow up my farm. Well, uh, anyway, I was thinking that in this episode we could make the ME system because it seems like it's a long way away, but really I looked up at the crafting recipes and it's not quite as long as it seems. So I might as well try and get it going. So like this, M-E, and there's a bunch of things we need, like M-E controller, and then the M-E drive, and then the M-E access terminal, but I think that's pretty much it. Not sure what the interface does. So, anyway, the controller requires Fluix crystals. Each are made with nether quartz, surface quartz, and a crystal. I mean, redstone. So, hmm. As the ME controller, and then there's this ME advanced processor which requires smelting this. But it's really not that hard to make. Quartz cutting knife is nether quartz, surge quartz, and an iron ingot. Do we have any nether quartz though? Hmm. Hmm. I guess we don't. Well, we could just use surge quartz and that would probably work. So, first, let's make the quartz cutting knife. I think we're gonna need sticks. So does quartz and an iron ingot. Do we have any iron ingots? Huh, guess we don't. Well, we'll have to smelt some. There we go. And let's. Oh, we do have an iron ingot. Never mind. <laughs> Just one. There we go, a quartz cutting knife. And now what? We've got the Emmy controller. Smelt this, and then there's silicon, which requires smelting either surgical quartz or nether quartz. Dust. Man, we, we don't actually have much of that surgical quartz dust. We may have to go and look for some more surgical quartz ore. But anyway, we can smelt it. I guess we'll just use jungle wood planks. Just because it a coal would be a waste if we're only smelting one item. And now we've got silicon. So, that requires a diamond. But oh well, we have nine diamonds. And probably a few more that we're going to get. Wait, did we have... Oh, never mind, I thought we still had the nether diamond. Oh well, I guess we're just going to use this one diamond. And it also requires redstone. And now we have an advanced processor assembly. Oh, this has durability when it's crafted. I wonder if I can use a slab on this. No, that's probably not, like, enough to smelt the whole item. I'll just make some more planks. And smelt this. I don't really know why it requires smelting, but okay, I guess it works. And now we have the ME Advanced Processor. It even gives you experience. And now we have Fluix Crystals. Simple enough. Wait a minute. 
Does that require nether quartz? Is it, I mean, is it like, by that I meant, is it absolutely necessary to have nether quartz? Hold on. Flux crystal. Oh man, that's it. Well, looks like we're gonna have to get some nether quartz. In the meantime, though, let's smelt, smelt some iron. Let's put that redstone diamond chip set in here, I guess. Because it's only the only free chest. Guess we can put some tools that we don't need in there. Like this. And this for now. Chests are almost full, and that's why I wanted to make the Emmy system. Since we're here, we can grab a piece of steak or cooked pork chop. Hmm. For some reason, I think that the eating animation was messed up on that. But oh well. Let's go back into the nether. And do we have arrows in the other chest? Nope. I guess we're just taking 20. Kind of want to get infinity on my bow at some point. Anyway, let's head into the nether. Oh wait, should I bring my mining turtle? Oh well, I probably should anyway, just in case I want to mine out ores. But I would need fuel for that. Oh well. With the skeletons sometimes drop coal. <laughs> and, I might, and I might find some nether coal ore. Yeah, it was taking a really long time to download the terrain for the nether this time. Aw oh man, I'm hearing a bunch of ghasts. Hmm. Should I turn the render distance lower? Guess I'll turn it to normal. That might help. Well, I guess we can just mine this nether quartz right here. Wow. Nether. Nether. The nether rack mines really fast. I don't think the zombie pigmen get angry when you mine the quartz. Oh no, they do! They do! No, we're gonna have to kill up the zombie pigmen. Well, I guess it changed so it works like that. <laughs> did end up getting some quartz though. Oh, you can't get to me. There are some pigmen now, which can do a considerable amount of damage. I think I'm just gonna wait here until I'm sure that the zombie pigmen aren't angry. I don't see any, but they might get angry at any moment. I should probably go, go back for coal to fuel the mining turtle. Alright, let's get some coal. I have a gold nugget. Where should I put that? Well, I'll put it in here at this point. Let's grab a few more. We might need some more. Actually, I wonder if we've got enough nether quartz right now. Hmm. Now we're gonna need one more, at least. I really hope the zombie pigmen aren't still angry. Could happen though. Might very well happen. Anyway, I guess we can stack up or mine our way up there. Or we could just place it down right there until it's a tunnel for, I'm gonna say, three blocks.
that should probably be enough quartz. Why is it replacing? I know it's telling in the wrong direction. Well, that's too bad. Well, let's get a bit more netherrack and stack up to there. One more. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more. And now we got three more nether quartz. Not necessarily in the way I wanted it to, to mine. I like how it places nether rack below it. Just so you can get to it more easily. Anyway, let's go back to the overworld. I really hope I forgot. If I come back there like 20 minutes later, the zombie pigmen aren't still angry. Oh, got a little bit of lag there. It's probably okay. Alright, let's make some fluix crystals. I know what that requires. Not the iron, but regular soda quartz. One, two, three, four. That should probably be enough right now. I'll try to use the surge quartz whenever I can. Seem to have more of it. Alright, we've got everything we need to craft the first part of the ME system. And let's take the ME advanced processor. And we've got the ME controller. Now, the next part we need is the ME drive. Or we can try the ME access terminal first. Well, let's try the drive. We're gonna need glass, chest, and basic processors. Basic processors are made kinda like, kinda like the diamond ones. Oh, we might need to pulverize some nether quartz for this. Nether quartz dust. Well, let's pulverize. Oh, this is actually pulverizing a lot faster than it did before. No, it's going into the furnace. Well, now we've got some nether quartz dust. We could have used the surge quartz dust, but we don't actually have much of that. Unless you can... Unless you can... Oh. You can just pulverize surge quartz. Never mind. It'll work. Okay, we've got nether quartz dust. Hmm. Do I want to go back? Let's see how much I'm going to need in total. I mean, drive. That's going to require two of them. Two of these, and for the ME access terminal, that's going to require the ME cable, which requires fluids dust, and the conversion matrix, which requires more fluids dust. Okay, let's use this for now. We're going to have to use it at some point anyway, and let's start making. Well, whatever we've got to make. So, first thing, most advanced thing, is the ME basic processors. Quartz cutting knife. Right here. We've got gold. We've got redstone. And then... I mean, what, what else was it? Was it the dust? Hold on. There's this, 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 this. Silicon. Right, we need to smelt this. Have we still got those wood planks? Yes, we do. Alright. Do 
gonna try to put this in as soon as possible. There we go. And looks like we don't have any more dust. Oh well. Now we've got two silicon, and we can make the redstone or chip sets or something. Is this really all the redstone we have? I oh, know we have got another stack. Never mind. Alright, we've got the basic processor assembly, and we've got two of them. Alright, now we're gonna have to smelt those. Get the ME drive, and also glass. Looks like we have just enough iron, and just enough glass. So the last thing we need is a chest probably going to end up using one of the chests that we already have. You know what, let's just make another one. Why not? Oh, didn't convert all of that into wood planks. Chest. Okay. Now I guess we can make it. Once we smelt those. We're going to need... Actually, we could just do a stick and one of these. Right, that's going to be the fuel. That's going to be enough to smelt exactly two. And we're almost there. All we need is the ME access terminal, which requires conversion matrix. I'm going to have to go back into the nether anyway for this. Flux dust. Yeah, we're gonna need more nether quartz. But for now, we can make mm, whatever it was called. <laughs> and wait, it was like this, and what was in the middle? Let me see. Let me drive. There we go. Shift click the question mark and we get the ME drive. Last thing we need is the ME access terminal. So we're going to need Fluix dust, which requires a bunch of different dusts. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back to the nether. Let's put this stuff back. And while we're here, we can get a stack of cobblestone or so. Let's just take take this. And head back. Oh, and also we're going to need coal. Right here. That's probably going to be all we need. We might also need food. So let's bring some cookies. We bring... I don't know, just ten for now. We're not going to be in there that long. Alright, Zombie Pigman, if you're still here, please do not be angry. At some point, a ghast might even break this. Well, let's just get this going. Tunnel 2. Let's just say 3 in case there's more. And it'll tunnel. Without the zombie pigman getting angry. What? I didn't think it would work like that. Huh. Hold on. Let me see. Oh no, it's fine. Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's mine this out. Alright. I think that might be enough. Do we have enough? I don't know. Let's go back for now.
Now, you know what? It, you might think it would be ridiculous to be afraid of zombie pigmen, but they actually did like one and a half hearts of damage, even with just a gold sword. And in a group, they could be really hard to deal with. So let's turn all of this into nether quartz dust and try to make the last emmy controller and it's all being pumped into the furnace at some point I think I realized that this this wasn't really the most efficient way to do this but oh well it would be turning it to silicon if there was something actually in the furnace anyway we've got nether quartz dust And we've got surface quartz. No, wait, we're going to need more surface quartz dust. How much of that are we going to need in total? Uh, access terminal. We're going to need glass. An emmy cable. Well, let's just smelt some glass for now. Do we have sand? Hmm, guess we don't have sand. Well, let's go and get some sand. Oh, zombie trapped in there. I don't think he'll be getting out anytime soon. It's actually probably enough sand right there. Looks like our sugarcane farm is fully grown again. Man, that stuff grows fast. So convenient. It's also convenient how you can break everything in the row. That should have been 18. Oh, last one's right there. And let's go back inside. Got 18 sugarcane, which did that go in here? Oh, it goes in here. Never mind. We didn't even eat any of those cookies. Well, let's get that going. We're almost there. Okay, we're gonna need another one of these Emmy basic processors. Gold ingots. We could, in theory, get this smelting already. Man, we are actually almost out of surface quartz. Well, we have enough. I mean, cable would require... Uh... I guess two of them. And then this would require... Another one of them. And that would require another one. That would require another one. So we have enough. Barely enough, but enough. Alright, let's get enough glass. Hmm. Well, let's pulverize some of this surface quartz while we're at it. I just want to know exactly how much we need. Okay, we're going to need... Since it makes two flukes dust, and this the whole thing is going to be three more flukes dust, then that's three to pulverize. Alright, let's pulverize three. And now we have all the glass we need, except for this. And we'll put another nether quartz dust in there once the glass is done. Okay, we've probably got enough. Now we can just get our redstone right here. Craft some more fluix dust. Actually, we're going to need. Oh, never mind. We've got enough. That's going to make six fluix dust. And we've got to make this conversion matrix, which shouldn't be too hard. 
we do have the ME processor. All right, we're going to put we're going to put some dust in there, which will still need to pulverize. It's probably going to be wasted anyway. Oh well, it will be wasted coal. But that's okay. We have 57 coal, and we can make more charcoal if we want to. After all, we have so much wood. And we've got Sodus Quartz Dust. Alright, this does take a long time, but it is worth the crafting. Okay. Now we're gonna have to smelt that. Let's just use a couple of wood slabs. Don't know what I'm going to use these for anyway. Actually, I forgot how I got them. Don't really know where I would get them. Alright, oh, I think I accidentally crafted them at some point <laughs> while I was trying to craft something else. Anyway, we've got silicon. And the Emmy drive requires. No, wait, we're not going to make this. We're going to make this. Okay, we need to make another one of these Emmy basic processors. Let's get gold ingots, redstone, and this. And I think the crafting recipe was like this. There we go. Now we can smelt this. ME access terminal, here we come. By the way, let's make some ME cables while we're at it. And some iron. Do we have enough iron? Or are we, go are we going to need to make some more of that? Alright, let's melt some more iron. And for this, we can actually use a whole piece of coal. There we go. We've, we've got one more step. Four iron, three glass, the conversion matrix, and the enemy cable. And that's pretty much it. Gonna need one of these and one of these. Can't forget how it's crafted. I always forget how things are crafted. Okay. Let's actually put the recipe for this in here. There we go. That oh, that won't be stored in there. Never mind. I thought it would be stored. But apparently not. We've got fluids dust, iron nether quartz, surface quartz, and the basic processor. Do we have that in here? Oh, it's right here. So I think we have everything we need except for the iron. Actually, we do have the iron now. So let's do it. Basic processor. Fluix dust, and the quartz, surface quartz, inversion matrix, and we now can make the last piece. Here we go. All right. Not this. Inversion matrix. Yes, we've made the entire Emmy system. Hmm. There's also something we can make, like, which is called an ME crafting terminal. Crafting. Crafting terminal. So it just requires the regular ME access terminal plus a storage cell. We might make that later. Meantime, maybe we should get rid of... Get rid of some of our chests. Now this is going to take up like a three block space. So we might as well just mine this whole area out a bit more. 
mine out the dirt. Oh, looks like the zombie head just stays there. We could have floating zombie heads. Looks like part of this area is already cleared out. It's going to require some power to run. So I'm thinking we could use uh, maybe a combustion engine. <clears throat> okay, so the combustion engine would require hmm, this, the piston, and it also requires oil or fuel. And also biofuel. How do you make the biofuel? Hmm. Looks like there's no crafting recipe, but I suppose that would make sense. Hmm. Wonder how do you make the magma crucible? We could just get lava from that, from cobblestone. Magma. Magma Crucible. Requires nether brick, copper, redstone reception, machine frame, redstone energy seal frame. This actually requires kind of a lot. Don't think we have enough lead either. Do we have lead? Lead. Oh, we do have lead. We could, in theory, make it. Oh well. Maybe we should just make the Sterling engine instead. Sterling, which is a, a bit lower tier. But it would still work. All right, let's let's make it. Glass, and it's also going to need an iron ingot. Smelt some more iron. Wait, did I just break a torch or something? Thought it got a bit darker. Yeah, I just turned down my brightness accidentally. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Okay. Now we almost can craft whatever we need. I think we're going to need some wood planks. And an iron ingot, which we want to smelt. If my, as my armor? No, I was wondering if my armor lost enough durability that we could combine it with the other armor. I think that's actually all we need for the piston. And we're also going to need a bit of redstone. Alright, we've got a piston. And now this is going to require the piston plus glass plus stone gears plus just regular cobblestone, I guess. Well, let's make the stone gears. I think I remember how they're crafted. We're going to need regular wooden gears. and then surround those in cobblestone. There we go, stone gears. And then glass and cobblestone. We've got our sterling engine and with some more iron. So I guess we could just destroy all these chests at once, although I kind of don't want to do that just because all the items would go spilling everywhere. So I think I'm going to put a bunch of stuff into this chest. And then I'll be able to pick all the stuff up when it spills out. Or... See, I forget how it's orientated. If you can just take everything out of the bottom half, because sometimes when I break Sometimes when I break this half, the right half of the chest, it actually contains all of this stuff. Hmm. 
But we'll see. I hope none of it gets lost. See, that's what I'm saying. It contains all the stuff in the other side of the chest, which makes no sense. Well, guess I gotta throw a whole bunch of stuff back in here. Just so I have room to pick up all the other stuff that just fell out of the chest. Hey, I got an achievement for finding diamonds. Yay! Did some of that fall down there? I don't actually know. Hmm. It probably didn't. Well, we've got a bunch of stuff now stuck in our inventory. But we can put down the first part of the ME system. Which is... How do we want to do this? Uh, I guess we could put the access terminal on the right. It's already close to our crafting table. Unable to communicate with controller. And that makes sense because there is no controller. Let's put down this chest and put... All the stuff from our inventory into it. I know this is getting completely disorganized, but we'll all be able to move into the ME system eventually. Next is the ME drive, and then the ME controller. Let's just take everything from this chest. And then destroy it, so it won't have drops flying everywhere. Now let's put this down. And lastly, the ME controller, which needs to be powered. I think these do overheat, and I don't actually know how to cool them. So you could eventually just mine them out if they get too hot, and then replace them down. I suppose that would work. And next thing, we're probably going to need a power source. So a redstone torch would work. It's also going to need a regular fuel source. Ooh, not exactly sure if we'd want to do that. Hmm. Well, let's just use coal for now. That'll power the system for long enough. Are you not going to work? Fine, I guess I'll just use a lever instead. Do we have a lever? Well, we can make one. We've got sticks. We've got cobblestone. Let's put them to work. Alright, now it's working. And now the system is activating, but not for very long. Well, at least we can start putting stuff in. Alright, we're going to need something for the drive. Let's just search storage. Alright. We've got the ME1K storage, which is going to be required. Storage cell. Basic processor. Now, this is going to require more than I thought. Can't actually put anything in it until I have a storage <coughs> cell. Oh man. Alright. Wonder how long this is going to last it for. Probably not actually that long. Well, let's put the chest up there for now. I wonder if there's like a better way to get energy. We could use the steam dynamo. But you do have to use regular old fuel for that. Hmm. Let's let's look up other forms of energy. Like engine. Why not? You've got this stuff. You've got hmm. Oh, it's actually thundering. Engine, okay. We could also search generator. 
biofuel generator, coal generator, turbine created steam generator. Hmm. Wonder what biofuel generator requires. This is steam dynamo. Are there other dynamos? Die. Dynamo. It's a magmatic dynamo, compression dynamo, reactant dynamo, bronze. Hmm. Compression tin and invar. Hmm. I wonder if the quarry will run on this. Requires water and solid fuel, requires hot foods, and requires fuel, fluid fuel and solid reactant and coolant. Hmm. Looks like this has some stored energy and the power is low. I don't really know how I'm going to power this. Oh well. Guess we can put everything we need in the top chests. Alright, we can't open it. Hold on. There we go, now we can open it. And we're going to need to find some more service quartz before we can do anything else. Hmm. Anything in here? Yeah, I just wish we could put stuff in it. We need more Cernus Quartz. Well, anyway, I guess we could cut the episode right here because even though we're really close to really close to making the ME system, we're still going to need to find some Cernus Quartz, and it's been about 40 minute episode so far. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.